Are we good? Did it? Are we good now, Dylan? <laughs> take Dylan, two. Take, take two. three. We're good. Three, two, one, go. Dylan, we're still good, right? Nah, just kidding. Man, <laughs> so a little bit different today, but we have Dominique here with what's your business name for everybody knowing? My business name is 459. Mm. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so you know us here, we don't make mixed drinks. We just make happy dads, take shots, and whatever Jose mixes in the cup. <laughs> but that's how we drink. But Dominique today is gonna make our traditional paloma, our favorite tequila, and she brought her ingredients today, so. We brought the whole setup. Luis is joining me for the master class today, so let's get it mixing. Um, I didn't go to school, so I learned this at least. All right, let's get right into it. All right, let's this. do it. All right, first things first, we're gonna rim our glasses. There we go. I got Same. yours right here. You can put your grapefruit salt on yourself. Wow, I get to do it myself. Look at this. <laughs> oh, shit. Dylan, is this good? This is good, Dylan? A little bit more. Ah, my good. Dylan liked this salt, huh? Oh, I did. He did. He licked it, he licked it off. <laughs> he licked it clean. <laughs> All right. Damn. So I have enough ice in here for two drinks. Um, you go ahead and pour the tequila yourself. Usually it's about two <laughs> ounces. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we all right. So this it. is yeah. this is Jose, our professional, uh, professional shop pour. Shop pour. Oh, thank this you, my Jose. Guy. I, you don't know what you want, but I know what you want. <laughs> what you need. What you need. Two drinks worth. Two drinks worth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jose has right. a heavy hand. That was two seconds for sure. That was two seconds, ma'am. All right. All right. Next, I have a grapefruit juice here, freshly squeezed this morning. Always the best to have fresh ingredients little, in your little cocktails. Hung, little hungover, but I was a little hungover when I made it, but hey, I got it done. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my friend Jocelyn for getting me here on time. She was on time? Shout out what? Jocelyn. 30 minutes late, 30 minutes late. So I'm, I'm, so in the description, I'm gonna put Jocelyn, uh, she came out of the podcast when we were back in Fontana, so I'm gonna put that in there. Oh, no. Don't look at me, because I'm a little cringe, but Jocelyn did amazing. Uh. <laughs> Did the shake up, bam, there you go. Yeah, we gave it a little shake. We're gonna pour it and we're gonna leave some room because we gotta add some squirt on top of that, so. El squirt, el squirt. There you go. El squirt. This is, it reminds me of like uh, the mimosas when we do the little, just a little splash. Hold on, there you go. That's all <laughs> I need. That's out. all I need, a little splash of mimosas. I like a lot of squirt. Join us for mimosas tomorrow. I'm a fan of carbonation, so. And then we have grapefruit to garnish. So, here I got yours. Thank you. We didn't get that. We didn't get no, that. we didn't get it. Okay. It, was a, it was a little fast. Tony wasn't drinking. Then he drank without us. Tony, <laughs> you know the Toxica. <laughs> Jessica, come here, fool. Come here. Come here. Hey. Come here I, don't, I, don't, I don't drink. Either. He doesn't I, drink. I've been sober for three years, so. Congrats. Yeah. Right now, right? I mean, tomorrow. Well, tomorrow. tomorrow. Do you want a virgin drink yeah, with sure. us? There yeah, it is. Sure. There it is. Let me make it though. Let me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you. Nobody. All right, just get some of the lime juice on there. Yeah. Okay. And then spin it. Yeah. It's a do it yourself type of thing. Let me get you some ice. <laughs> This is the water? Hey, no, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> the water? Yeah, that's the uh, holy water right there. I'm sorry. No, we put this, right? I know. Just oh, the ice first, right? You're forgetting the steps, Rick. I should teach you this. Oh, yeah, you're right. Well, I think I... You're right. All right, right. you can put some grapefruit juice. Oh, right. before the ice? I already put ice in there. Oh, right here. Oh, yeah, you're gonna okay. you're gonna do the whole thing. You're gonna shake it up oh, yeah, and everything. Put? All right. Ah, shake that thing. I want okay. to see you shake it. There? Oh. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, shit. That has alcohol. Hold on. We drink water today. Sure. Go ahead and shake it. Hold it together tight. Yeah, there we go. Hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> okay, go ahead and pour it in. There we there go. go. Yeah, and top it with some squirt. There we go. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your garnish. Yeah, natural. <laughs> 
No, no wonder you stopped doing Ready? Yeah. Ready, 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 cheers, ready, ready, ready. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Oh, cheers. Dork? Oh. Come oh, on. Oh, are you gonna cheers this time? Yeah. Cheers. cheers. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Very fire. refreshing. Good? This is fire. Thank you. I think I need okay. a little bit more water. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, Jose didn't put enough. Thank, right. thank you. Um, Tony, thank Jessica. You. Jessica. Period, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we're we're now done with the drink. The camera's still good. We're done with the drink. Why? Why the name? Well, because you know when they say it's five o'clock somewhere. When it's four fifty nine, you're just getting warmed up for that. You're one minute away till a good time, you know. So that's why I chose that name. All right, cool. I love that mm -hmm. because we start maybe 10 minutes before five. <laughs> maybe, sometimes, sometimes an hour. <laughs> I don't count really. You are a business owner. This is yes. a business. Yes, it is. Why get into a personal business like this in this type of industry? It's always nice to be your own boss, you know, make your own schedule, do things, you know, your own way. Um, in this industry, I kind of just stumbled upon it. Um, I had some free time, so. I decided to sign up for bartending school. I attended Prestige uh, Bartending School in Covina. So shout out to Alvis, best bartending instructor out there. There you go. Taught me everything I know. Um, and yeah, once I finished that up, I didn't really know where I wanted to go with it, but I just knew I wanted to have fun. I mean, it's such a good time being able to make drinks and serve people drinks and yeah. accommodate to your customer and just get good feedback from the people that you serve. So. I had a lot of fun with it, and I started this up. I also bartend at a restaurant in Covina called Giovanni's, uh, where we serve amazing Italian food. If you go, if you go, make sure you're tipping. Yeah. If you don't tip your bartender, tip your yes, bartender. Okay. if you tip two five dollars, go home. Nice. Don't even go. Don't even show up. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to go home. Just don't show up. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, yeah, so this is a mobile bartending business. So basically, what I do is um, I set up the whole the whole bartending structure for the party. So if I get a client that calls me, um, wants to have any type of setup, I'll make it happen. So I can set up mimosa bars, um, michelada bars, and I also set up open bars. So yeah. We're gonna throw a party um, with mariachi it. and banda and everybody, you know? And, so, and, 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 yeah, and Tony was gonna sing, so uh, we, we, have, we have the- Mariachis? Yeah. We have the drinks ready. Hey, we're water. Gonna they're gonna serve water. They're gonna serve water. Basically, we have the whole party here. Oh yeah, we just party right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, call them up right now. Um, what? Being a business owner, being a woman in business, mm -hmm. what struggles do you go like face through? Especially being in this type of business, which is you're dealing with not just girls coming to the bar, but also men. Also, being a woman in business, it's not really. Now we're giving the empowerment, right? We always yeah. empower women to like try it out, give your best. What, what is that for you? What does that women in business, women empowerment mean to you? That was good. That yeah, was good. man, yeah, that's that pretty deep. Good. I'm that like, ooh, okay, yeah. let's see what it's, my it's, it's what yeah. everyone's in here got me yeah. going yeah. good, dog. Um, no, we were. I think being a woman in business is just, the whole process takes a lot of growth. And I think that's something that's probably never going to end being in business. Um, you come across a lot of personalities um, and you just learn how to make changes as you go each step of the way, you know? So it's just being, um, there's a word for it, like very fluid and very open to uh, making progress and change um, to make your way forward in business. And then we talked about this just less than 24 hours ago. But you are a mother. You're a mom, mom of two. Mommy of two. Mommy of two. You're juggling work, you're, juggling, you're trying to balance everything. Yeah. Being a mother and handling business, what's the motivation behind all this? Because you can just work a regular yeah. job, one job, maybe two, but go home after this. Yeah. So what does this mean to you? What does it do to you? What, like, what's your, your thought process? So number one is always being able to provide for my kids. So I always want the best for them. Um, of course, working, it's gonna be financially. Um, but one thing I also think is really important is being a 
a good example to my kids. And especially being a mom, I mean, I have a daughter. And I think something that's really important to me is for my daughter to be able to look at me and to be able to say, like, well, like, my mom's doing it. Or when she grows up and she becomes a woman and gets out into the world, I want my daughter to be able to say, my mom did it, I can do it. Or maybe she doesn't even have to think that way. By that time, I hope that it's already instilled in her that there's no questions asked. If you want to do right. something, get out there and do it. Hey. Hey. hey, you thought she was just a barista. She's a motivational speaker. I'm a mom. It. She's a mom. I'm a mom. Ooh. That's right. She's a mom first. So anybody watching? Right before we get to the to the shot, I need a shot to be. Honest. I need a shot. <laughs> we, before we get into that, um, is there is there a quote that you live by? This obviously this is a Toast to Life podcast, motivational, inspirational, but we go by quotes. People, women, men are always looking for quotes to live by to remember. What is one that you live by that you when you're having a down moment you're just like, that's it. <laughs> when I'm having a down moment. I think it's something I heard on TikTok recently. And it doesn't sound that motivational, but I think it is like the way that you interpret it. Mm -hmm. uh, the quote would have to be, no one's coming to save you. Hey, yeah. save yourself. There, really, no one's coming to save you. So if you're trying to get out of that hole or you're trying to move forward or do anything to progress, it's gonna be you that's gonna make that change. There's no one that's gonna come and help you. Yeah. Damn, so. You're gonna, I mean, you have a support system. I'm sure you have family, friends, but at the end of the day, they're living their own lives. They're taking care of their responsibilities and worrying about how they're gonna get their stuff done. And if you're sitting there waiting for someone to save you, you're not gonna make it, you know? So that's you really right. gotta, you gotta get there and be there for yourself and. Facts. Yeah. Per. You're coming to save yourself. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, look at that. She was like, <laughs> as she's back there, she was like, per. 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 No one's so, coming to save you. You, you have one of uh, your best friends right yes. here, right? And when she was on the pod. Well, Jocelyn came to save me this morning. Oh, this one? This one? Yeah, yeah, Jocelyn. Yeah. She was, she was, she was on, on the pod. What is, what is, what is, what does having that type of friend group mean to you? Being around, surrounded by the right people. Oh, man, it means the world. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> no, I'm gonna cry. No, I'm gonna cry. All right, we got it. We got it. You gotta come in. You gotta come in. There you go. I love you. I love you. Come on, Gary. Come on, Gary. We got the shot. All four of us. We do have the shot. We do have to take a shot. We do gotta take a shot. We do gotta take a shot. But yeah, being no, around it means the, the world. It really does. Being I mean, surrounded by the right people. Right? Yes, means the world. So explain that to us. Leave us with this. Who are you without your friends and your family? You know, yeah. but yeah. I mean, I think it takes some time to build relationships. And once you get those people that you know you can rely on, Facts. that are going to be there for you when you need them the most, that aren't going to pass judgment or yeah. be unforgiving or just whatever the case may be. I mean, you really got to cherish and love those people. And I think something that is also very important is to remind the people that you love that you appreciate them and that you love them. And um, just send out those reminders and let them know what they mean to you because it's always good to hear that, especially when you're that person in someone's life. Yeah, pour up a shot. Yeah, right? Pour up a yeah. shot. There we go. Yeah. Pour up the shot. Shot, 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 shot. <laughs> I'm so deep, I'm man. <laughs> <laughs> was it? Okay. She was about to cry. She was about to cry. Shaking. <laughs> Dylan was gonna cry. We bought in really close to Sears. We really have. We bought in really close to Sears, so we help each other out. That was so deep, guys. Huh? Yeah. Yes, they said body shots. I'm with Dylan. Dylan, lay down. Yeah. Come on, lay down. Dylan, lay down on the table. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Off of Dylan? Off of Dylan. Dylan okay. has that body. Body out of There we came. There we go. Hey, so Dylan just became a coach this week, and he's called Coach D. Oh, hey. Hey, get your daily body. Hey, Co Z. Coach Z, please come save us. What do we do, Coach? There's a reason why I wear big shirts. <laughs> My guy. All right. So I honestly, I, I do want to I want to thank you for for coming today. I know you've been busy. You are busy. You're going to an event right after this. I am busy woman. And you made time to come out and, and do this for us, for, for this movement, this platform. But you got to share a little bit of you and a little bit of 
of what you go through, a little bit of your story, why this, your motivation behind this. So where can these, where can everybody watching follow you? Where can they hire you? Where can, for the next event, like what's your profiles look like? Follow me at 459 on Instagram. Um, tag me. Oh, I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. <laughs> Vámonos, Dylan, vámonos. Vámonos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. If you're watching this, close your eyes. We're going to reset, rewind. <laughs> Never happened. In action, we're back. <laughs> so do I just say where to follow me now? Yeah, yeah where to follow. Uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram, uh, the number four and 59 spelled out. Um, please tag me, make it easier on the viewers. Um, I appreciate every follow and I appreciate all business and all inquiries, so thank you. Let me, let me tell you one thing. One thing? One thing? Let me tell you one thing. Let me tell you one thing. These Palomas are actually the best Palomas I've ever had. Oh, thank you guys. I am not playing. So These are some fire ass palomas, and yeah. they're made by the hands of this chick right yeah, here, which is amazing. Bartend for you, go ahead. <laughs> if you want to lose all your money in one night, <laughs> make sure we go here. Call me, please. But <laughs> you guys, you guys know the podcast. If you've been following it and sharing it, you know all we do here is drink, drink happy dads. We take shots. But we've never had this type of love, this type of, of engagement, this type of show presentation. So with that, Dominique, thank you so much. Jocelyn, thank you for getting thank her up. Thank you for having me. Thank you for getting her up. Thank you for getting her But here. everybody here, they tell us the life. Y'all already know, make sure you hit that subscribe Cheers. button and share. Dominique. Let's go. Hey! Bro, you a little bit. Yeah.